After you've built your robot and you're ready to program it, open LabVIEW on your computer, click Create Program, and choose Robot Project Blank Robot. Then click Create. Give your project a good name like your name so that you'll be able to find it later. Then click Create. That will open the Robot Project Center where you can work on your robot. One thing you need to do the first time that you work with your robot on LabVIEW is go to the NXT terminal. Make sure that your robot's connected to your computer. And then click to choose the robot. Mine's called 1234. You'll see that it updates. And then you need to update the firmware so that it will be able to communicate with LabVIEW. This will take a few minutes. Make sure that you do not unplug it or stop it. It will mess your brick up. Okay, now that's done. We can close that. And now we're ready to program and test out our robot. Connect to your robot by choosing the NXT. Mine's still 1234. Then open the schematic editor. The schematic editor is a way of seeing how your robot is laid out, seeing what is connected to that NXT brick. So I have a motor plugged into motor B, so I choose a motor. I can then go over to the left-hand side and learn about that motor and even give it a better name. It's my right motor, so I call it right motor. I also have a motor plugged into motor C, so I choose that. And I also have a touch sensor plugged into sensor port 1, so I'm going to choose the touch sensor. Forgot to rename my left motor. All right, so everything is set up now. We can use the schematic editor to even test out our robot. So choose the thing you want to test out. So I chose my right motor. I'm going to set my power level to 53 and then click go. And you can also stop it. If you go negative, the motor should go in reverse. Try out my left motor. Positive makes it go forward, negative makes it go in reverse. I can even test out my touch sensor. You're going to see that it has a little black screen and when I push the touch sensor, it makes a mark indicating that its value has changed. When you're done, save and close the schematic editor. Now we want to write our own program so that the robot can do its own thing. So it'll follow the instructions that you give it. So go to Programs and choose VI for NXT Target. Give a name for it. I want my robot to drive, so I called it Drive. Now, when the program comes up, there's going to be a gray window called the front panel and a white window called the block diagram. The one you want to use is called the block diagram, the white one. Go ahead and right click or control click to bring up the functions palette and pin it down. The functions palette is a bunch of blocks that you can lay onto the block diagram which will be the instructions for the robot. So grab a move motor block from NXTIO then drag and put a weight block, and then put one more motor block. And that one we're going to turn into a motor brake. Now, so we're first turning on the motor, and then we wait, and then we stop. So connect these in order with the pink wire. Then we need to give some more information. Well, which motors do I want to turn on? Right click or control click and create a constant. 
This is going to be your way of telling it which motors to turn on. On my robot, I want to turn on B and C. Then there's another little node for power. You can right click or control click on and set your power. I'm choosing a power of 50. It goes all the way from 0 to 100 or negative to go backwards. Right click on the node for time and I'm going to have it drive for two seconds. And then finally, I need to tell it which motors to stop. So I can connect a wire from the stop to B and C, so I don't need to create another block. Nice thing to do is always type up comments to remind you what your program does. When it's finished, you've got a couple options. You can run it or you can deploy it. I usually use deploy. That means to download the program to the robot. Make sure you're plugged in and the robot's on. So here's my brick. It's kind of hard to see, but when you turn it on, it says My Files. Then use the orange button to go to Software Files and choose Drive. That was my program. You'll have to click the orange button one more time to make it actually run. And you can see my robot drive. 